So one of the things we like to teach is how to make our dogs have posture or we call it tension on the stack. So think of a person and what they look like when they are standing and they're just like waiting for the bus compared to uh, somebody that's standing there and they have their shoulders back and you know they are have a tall neck and they have posture. So it's the same thing for our dogs, right? So our dogs can get lazy when they're in the ring. Um, and some dogs are lazier than other dogs and dogs don't naturally know that a judge is looking at them and that they do need to have that correct posture so they need to learn it from us. So one of the ways that a lot of people like to do it is, you know, they might have their dogs stacked up and, you know, I am always training my dogs to stack first on a table, even my large dogs, because um, first of all, they can't get away from me. Secondly, um, I can see everything that's going on much easier. So a lot of people want to teach that kind of tension with bait. So a lot of things can go wrong with that. First of all, they can just like not care that you have bait as we see here today. Um, also, you can run out of bait, all of those things. So how I like to teach it on any kind of dog that has a tail and we'll show it with a dog that you can't do this is I want to, I don't want to push them forward, right? Pushing forward is creating the wrong kind of tension. So I'm going to take the hair on underneath their tail. So not their tail like this, but the hair. And I'm just going to pull on that hair until they start to naturally pull forward. So you can see him starting to pull forward. And there's, that's the tension that we're looking for. And we're going to do it with his legs in the right place this time. So we're going to pull on that hair and then get it to move forward. And this is, um, it requires a touch, but you can see how his top line changes. See how he starts to pull forward and the outline we get, he gets a longer neck, he gets a better top line, um, his front looks better. So those are all the things that we can do. And obviously it's not something that you're going to do the entire time you're in the ring. You know, you can be here waiting for the judge to walk down the line. And then as they get to watch your, right before they get to watch your dog in profile, simply do that. And then we would move, good boy. He's like, what are you doing? Then we can move it to the floor, especially when I am first training it. And then I would immediately do the same thing on the ground. So I'm gonna have them set up. Right, and then I'm gonna pull on that hair underneath his tail and create that tension. Make sure that you have a word that means it's over, which we didn't quite have that word yet. So we have to make sure we end with me being in control of what's happening and not him. So one more time, pulling on that, stay, stay right there. You can do this. Stay. Pull on that hair underneath his tail. And there we go. And then make sure that you always have a command for your ready, good boy, to signal that time is up. For everybody that has ever told us that they want to learn how to create tension with their dog on the stack, but their dog doesn't have a tail, or their dog um, has a, a tail that's up on its back, you can't pull that hair on the back of their tail, this is for you. We still want to create that same kind of tension because we want our dogs to feel good and have that posture, but how we're going to do it. So you can see here, she has her hand underneath the dog's belly. So that's not really gonna do it, right? So it might give confidence to a, to a dog that doesn't want a judge to examine it. There's nothing wrong with using that method to create that confidence. But when we're actually kind of creating that tension, what we want to do is you're going to hold all the leash in your left hand, and then you're going to put your hand on the post sternum, and you're going to push just straight back until you feel her pushing into your hand, then let go. Okay, now did you see how we created that tension? And you can see how she all of a sudden leans in. So if you, so if I'm examining her and you're worried that your dog isn't standing up over her front, so as the judge walks up, right, you want that front to feel good, good girl, and you're worried that she's gonna lean back, you can simply just press on the post sternum, so press on it till she, like it's kind of welcoming her front into the judge's hands, right? And then the same as the judge goes to go over the rear of the dog as they're running their hands down, if you push back on the post sternum, so do the same thing, it's creating that muscle 
tension. So it makes our dogs feel like they're more physically fit. So think about your, like you're standing here like this and then flex your muscles. This, this is where flexing the muscles for our dog. So then if you wanna put her right down on the ground, great. And then as the judge comes up, you just wanna push on that post sternum again. Right there, there you go. You can see her actually leaning forward and that's what we're going for. It is a bit of a balancing act in the beginning, but eventually they really get it. What a good girl you are. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought. And as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium and subscription content and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.